Out of the blue corner, representing Team Ultimate Jim. He stands at Kyle six feet two inches tall, Belides with the height weighing in by at an even 110 also kilograms. Kilo weight he is the former IHKA Australian Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion, the former IKBF Australian Commonwealth Heavyweight Champion, and the 2003 K1 Melbourne Elimination Champion. He has 31 professional fights with 23 wins, six losses, and two draws, with seven big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Chris Godzilla, Chris And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing the elite Thai kickboxing gym. He stands at five feet, 11 and a half inches tall, weighing in at an even 98 kilograms. He is a six time world champion from the super middleweight division to the super heavyweight division and a two time K1 Oceania finalist. Also the 2002 KB4 champion and the 2002 K1 New Zealand champion. He has 55 professional fights with 44 wins, nine losses, and two draws, with 18 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Jason the Sango City. Well, an amazing ovation. Peter Graham's girlfriend on screen there. When the bell rings, the, the man in charge is referee John Jason the Sonny, Conway. huge support for him. Let's listen into the Rebel. Okay, guys, I expect a hard fight, but I want to see a clean fight. When I say break, step away from each other until I say box. You understand? Chris Opelidi is refusing to engage times. in the stare there here? of Jason Sonny. Good luck. Massive height and reach advantage going the way to Chris Opelidi's, which is no big thing for Jason Sonny. He's used to it. This fight brought to you by Dickies, and we are set for three by three, our semi-main event. The voice Michael Chavello, Lightning Mike Angover, Margaret Brock with you ringside, and the Rebel John Conway now gets us underway, round number one. Well, don't expect to be there to be any feeling out with Christopher Lides. He knows one way how to fight, and that's forward. Sadi, on the other hand, planning to be a little bit more technical. Christopher Lides, very unorthodox and incredibly powerful with those leg kicks. Chrysopolides, controlling centering at the moment. He's moved Jason Suddy to the outside of the ring. Goes through a big right hand to the side of the jaw of Suddy. Didn't come off for him. Outside thigh kick from Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides, very, very unorthodox. Wild with his punches, but very heavy in the kicks. Suddy answering back with a clipping right hand, left hook to the body. Good left hook nice. there from Chrysopolides. Good turning left hand from Big Chris, celebrating his Greek Easter this weekend. Goes for a jumping knee and he copped one south of the border. Big oh. Chris, be feeling a little testy after that. Well, he might be feeling a couple of them, mate. Shades of the uh, Hirua Tarangi fight. Sean Conway just calling a little bit of time, and here we go. Good start from both these men to the opening round, and Chrysopolides has to be probably the most awkward man to fight in all of Oceania. But by Jingo, he packs a lot of power. Body shots there, the trademark shots from Jason Suddy, former K1 New Zealand champion. Suddy just dropping his hands a little bit. Christopher, oh, that lethal big kick there from Suddy. Oh, big left hand there from Chrysopolides. He's caught him a couple of times so far in the opening round. Suddy's going to have to keep his right hand tucked to his ear. Well, Suddy's always relied on his jaw before, and there's a nice straight right to the body, left hook to the head, just missing. Another left hook, just clipping Christopolides, but he still continues to walk forward. Comes forward now. Big Godzilla goes for the outside thigh kick to the rear leg. He's got to be careful of Sonny pulling the head down into the knee. And I thought that would have been a tactic that Chrysopolides would have employed a little more. Lean his weight down on the much shorter Jason Sonny, smother him, tie him out, and try and work the high knees against the psycho. Sonny seems to be employing a game plan, shifting to his right and coming in. Jab, jab to the head and the right to the body. Nice counter right hand off the kick there from Christopolides. Oh, good straight right hand through the guard from Christopolides. Takes a left hand on the jaw from Sonny, shakes it off. Nice body shot there from Sonny. Front kick from Chrysopolides. He's got to get out of the corner. Where's an uppercut? Sonny goes to the body. 
Sasha Sopolini shoots it out, crowd rallying. Well, and that's how you heart. That's how you wake up, Jason Sutter. You got clipped with a couple of good shots and started to turn on the mustard on Christopolides, backing him into the corner. But this is going to be a war. No stepping back by either fighter. Wow, big Chris showing Sutty no respect, which is really the downfall of so many of Jason Sutty's opponents. He tends to psych them out before they even step into the ring. Such an imposing figure, but Chrysopolidi is really taking it up to here with another glancing left hand to the jaw inside the final 10 seconds now. And Chrysopolidi is a huge uppercut. Well, flip top head. Maybe Jason Sutty after that one walks into another uppercut. Chrysopolidi should have gone with the high knee. And I'll tell you what, Mike Ango, Chris Chrysopolidis is doing some good work here against Jason Suddy. Felt that body shot, tripling up on the body shot there, but Chrysopolidis countering Jason Suddy beautifully, clipping him with the right hand, following up with the left hook very, very well, but he is dropping his head into that knee as we end go. round one. Chris Chrysopolidis, a 10 9 round. Well, I'd probably call it a little bit closer than that. It was a bit of two and fro. I'd call that a drawn round. Margaret Bright, who are you going to give the first round to? Blue or red corner? You know, I've not seen such toughness. I think I probably have to edge it with Jason. Okay, so I'm going to go for the Aussie, and the Kiwis are going to go for the Kiwi. Go figure. Don't talk, let's sit down. Here we're coming up here, and we see Christopher Leedy's right hand, left hook driving over the top, then go downstairs again. Again, the doubling up on the left hooks really seems to have found a home, but Sadi coming back to the body, and he triples up as we head into the second round. The Rebel John Conway gets us underway around number two of three. And we are divided in the commentary position as to who owned the first round. How are you scoring it, folks? Chrysopolidis found the target with some good hands in the opening round. Needs to work his leg kicks a lot more. They are his prime weapon. And I wouldn't be surprised if he can get in close and maybe work a knee up to the jaw of Suddy. Meanwhile, Jason Suddy always a busy fighter. A lot of power, it's incredible speed for a heavyweight, especially those shots to the rib cage. As Chrysopolides goes high, then goes for the high knee. Well, you called it Mike Chavella. He went high and then pulled Sadi's head down to the knee. And now he's finding a home for that left hook continuously. Chrysopolides, Sadi's got to work on a different game plan here. Got to keep Chrysopolides turning rather than walking forward. Nice clipping overhand right by Sadi. Chrysopolides thought about the balk right hand, the Johnny Sheeter trademark move of his gym. Oh, nice short, stiff right hand from Chrysopolides to the jaw of Suddy. Good round kick to the rib cage from Suddy. Reminiscent of the kicks that Chris took last time out against Paul Slewinski on the Gold Coast. And Chris will have to guard up against those. Tagging right hand, outside thigh kick from Chrysopolides. Wade's in, he's got to keep his guard up though. Chops away to the lead thigh, the tattooed thigh. The tattoo that took 12 days of torture on Jason Suddy. Well, over in Sydney. Well, he's certainly a tough, tough man getting the traditional Samoan PR. Doubling up on the left hook there, but Christopolides is growing in confidence as this fight goes on. Sadi needs to keep the straight punches working just to stop Christopolides from coming forward, catching him with a jab as he walked in there. Balk right hand, but he swept downstairs. Christopolides a popping up a cut and knee to the midsection. This is all scoring technique here for Chris Christopolides and his fan club ringside from Melbourne will be enjoying it. Big hello to John Zoran, all the boys. And also Cherie, Victoria D, Candy, and the 1610 room. Enjoy Sadi. watching Big Chris in centre in as he goes for the inside thigh kick, straight right hand. Sadi just trying to catch Christopolidis on the way in. He's found that left kick of his work, and then just going over the top of Christopolidis' head with a half jab, half hook. One of the trademark moves there of Sadi, the popping jab and the right body shot. Christopolidis has worn some hard blows in this round, but still continues to come forward on the psycho. Chrysopolides works in and cops a little knee to the, to the John Smalls. Well, they've had a couple of rattles there tonight. Suddy looking uncharacteristically weathered. Ooh, Chrysopolides has to protect that rear rib cage. Ties up Suddy. Doesn't want to be pulled too low into the grapple because Suddy will work the knee underneath as we move into the final 20 seconds of the second round. And I believe this has been Chrysopolides' round, Ango. Well, I actually believe uh, they've scored fairly evenly, but... The round should go to the more aggressive fighter, and that has been Christopolides. That uppercut he's been putting to good effect, following up with the left hook into the corner. Well, the galloping Stop. Greek really bringing it home Stop here right. in the second round, all tied up against the ropes in front of our photographer's oh, contingent. End of the second round, we go to the towels, and this is shaping into an intriguing contest.
look back to the action of that round, Christopolides walking forward, left low kick, following up with the right hook, uppercut, left hook again, and tying Suddy up in the corner, really using his weight to bear down on the smaller fighter. And here we go, semi-main event, and it has been an absolute corker. Left hand to open up receivings here from Chris Chrysopolides. Outside fly kick up the cup. Overhand left from Jason Suddy going for the headache maker. Big top something fly kick from Chrysopolides. Again to the lead fire. That's what Johnny Sheeter called for from the galloping Greek. I'd like to see Jason Suddy throw a straight right hand down the middle and follow up with the left hook. Chrysopolides is picking up on that left hook of Suddy's. It's usually his trademark punch, but he just needs to set it up a little bit better. Chrysopolides edges forward. It's got to keep that right hand up nice and high. Good low check there from Jason Sonny. Moves him with a popping jab to the jaw. Back him up. And Jason Sonny wearing a lot of leather in this fight, more than we've seen him wear in a very long time. Going with the uppercut, pulling Christopolides' head down, but just off balance. Ooh, uppercut there from Sonny, and another one. Chrysopolides comes forward, rib kick to the right rib cage of Sonny. Jab, uppercut from Sonny, turned him around, thought he might launch the high kick on him. Chrysopolides, straight right hand, then the left, all tied up in the neutral corner. John Conway separates them, and Jason Sonny's worn more leather than the Blue Oyster Bar. John Trafonovic ringside there with Paul Slowinski. Well, Slowinski will be watching this fight very, very closely, because I think we saw a dawning of a oh, new star. Big leg kick, nicely swept out on that Sunday News logo, dead center of the ring. So far, so good in the final round from Chrysopolides. He takes a big suck of oxygen, leaves some for us, big Chris. And Sonny returns the favor with a leg kick of his own. Well, still a very, very close round, this fight. Something definitive, an eight count could change the course of this fight, but I expect it to go to a draw if this round continues in this fashion. The crowd now really in. Here comes Chrysopolides calling him on. Jason Sonny takes one, two right hands. He's got a head harder than the boxer's way. Jason Sonny still powering up. Big left hand from Chrysopolides. Blocks down into Florida. He calls him on. Nobody, nobody calls on Jason Sonny. Back up, Chris. Back well, up. Chris Christopolides Chris, using his weight to great effect. I'd like to see Jason Sonny going with the right hand left uppercut. Chris Johnson not paying much attention to the fight. <laughs> Left hook going over his head, missing with the uppercut. Front kick there from Chris Opelides. Jason Sonny sucking in the air. What a corker of a final round. Thoughts about the turning back fist. Chris Opelides saw it coming from a mile away. Well, a bit of telegraph there, clipping him with the left hook again. Christopolides going, missing with the uppercut left hook as both fighters feeling a bit worse for wear, having a bit of cuddle and centre ring. We are into the final 20 seconds of an absolute pearl up. Uppercut from Sonny. Christopolides, oh, front kick, foot in there. A bit of a foot sandwich. Sonny ties him up, final 10 seconds now. It's been a good round for Big Chris. Don't do anything silly, son. Real kick to the rib cage, uppercut. Well, Jason Sonny tries for a final hook, but it's all over into the third and final round. Well, don't be surprised to see this one go to the extension round. Both fighters looking very, very worse for wear after that tough, tough fight.